Hi, this is ZEV Electric. We're showing today our 2017 model LRCT. The T is for trike. If you look at the front of this bike, you'll see that it has two front wheels, but a very narrow track. So this bike is really not any larger than a normal motorcycle in width and can run it's so narrow it'll fit through a 36 inch door with the window or with the mirror still extended. And of course if you turn it in it'll go through a 32 inch door. But the big advantage here is the fact this bike leans both wheels as you go through the front end. So you're never in a position of trying to take a turn like some trikes in the front end lifts. So when you stop this bike, it has a, on the right hand grip, it has a parking brake. Locks your, locks your front wheel so you can park on a hill. And it has a lock that locks the bike in an upright position so you can get off. And they have a center stand also. Now, this bike has, uh, let me turn it on for you. We have very bright lights, some LED recognition lights. Exceptionally bright high beams, very large diameter so that they have a high reflective surface so they can be seen at night. If you look at the back of the bike, bike has a very unusual tail light, very large, and a lot of LEDs so that even at night or in, in the daylight you can see it at nighttime when you're stopped, it'll actually light up the inside of the car behind you. You can see it be seen quite well. This is an all-electric motorcycle, runs completely off a of battery. The motor is inside the rear wheel. So there are no moving parts in this bike. There are no gears, no belts, no chains, nothing to adjust, nothing to oil. The motor's full of oil and it self-lubricates and the oil acts as cooling. The bike has a very large amount of space underneath of the seat. So we have a, a large modular helmet and a normal uh, helmet at the moment, but a full face helmet that is not a modular will fit in this space. You can get two helmets and you got space to spare. On this bike, all the electronics are laid out underneath of the seat so that if you need to do any diagnostics at any time or to ever replace parts that have to do with running the bike, everything is laid out for you. You don't have to pull off body panels. You can see on the side of the bike, the controller is out in the breeze. This is the best for maximum controller con cooling, and additionally, it allows the controller, should it ever have a problem, to be very, very easily swapped out. A few bolts, disconnect four connectors, the controller drops out. Everything is like these snap connectors where all of the control wires to the controller just disconnect with a pop. You can see here the very, very large brakes that we use on our bikes. We have high di or very large diameter uh, brakes and we use very wide tires for a scooter. The mass of this bike is set extremely low. The batteries are all the way to the bottom of the bike. The idea is that when you're hard on the brakes, this brake does not, this bike does not lift up the back end. The mass is not trying to go over the front axle, it's going right at the front axle or below it so that the bike will actually squat and hunker down and get a good grip for a, a short braking. In addition to this space underneath of the seat for storage, we have some storage we use for generally boots and rain suits. But then also a large glove box, 
with a 12 volt power port is available. We can put these power ports in other places if you like them also. This control is for a set of, of uh, big driving lights that fit down between the front wheels for lighting up the roads at nighttime on uh, when you're in an area where you don't have to worry about blinding oncoming cars. If you take a look at this other bike, we've got it up on the center stand so we can show you how the control system works. Turn it on this bike. That sound is all you hear at over 80 miles an hour. That's as loud as the motor gets. You can see on this bike another feature it has an optional reverse gear. So if you're maneuvering around in a parking lot, trying to back it up your driveway, you just touch the button for reverse, use the, use the throttle normally, the bike will back up. Touch the bike again, you're back to forward. There, there is a parking brake, as I was explaining, on the right hand lever, to locks this. This is your parking brake. Brake released. This is your front end tilt lock so you can lock the bike in an upright position. When the bike is like this it will not run. We don't want anybody taking off with the front end locked and getting a few feet and falling over. This bike in its current form is an 80 mile an hour motor scooter. It will also run a range of 125 miles or more at 55 miles an hour and you can expect a minimum of 80 and generally 90 to 100 miles out of it at 70 miles an hour on the interstate. The swing arm if you look at this bike is unusual since we use hub motors and we don't have to pay attention to the angles that the chains make relative to the swing arm we have this pivot point right in the middle of the bike, directly under the rider, so that when you hit a big bump and the back end suspension gets kicked up, you get more of a cushioning, a cushioning effect as the bike basically squats in the center and the rider gets a very smooth, non-jolting ride. We have a lot of people that tell us on our LRCs, the bike that this was derived from, how much they like the seats, how comfortable they are, that they can ride these for long times. Their wives love them because of the great big back seat, very comfortable and grab handles to hold on to. The lack of vibration. Being electric, you don't have the vibration. Secondly, what you see with an electric bike is your mirrors aren't shaking either because you don't have any vibration. You can look on the instrument panel for this bike. It shows you, we have a power meter here on the left, so you can see or estimate how much your range would be left. Normal mile per hour speedometer. We have over here on the bottom is your accumulated mileage, and at the top an elapsed time clock, so that it'll tell you how many hours you've been driving So you can also help estimate your range. For more information on this bike, please see www.zelectricvehicle.com. Brand name is Zev Electric. The model is the LRC-T. Please give us a call or look at our website. Thank you.